This is Ron Kong back again with another video on how to connect Microtech to provide internet to the Luji access point. Many people have been asking that. So that's the content we have for today, which you could use uh, to connect these devices all together, like starting a hotspot business, if you'd like to do that. So this is the Luji, this is a switch, this is power adapter. This is the Microtech 5 prints vouchers and uh, cables which we are going to use for this illustration and uh, the internet service provider router. So we are going to pick the internet firstly from the router. So this is how you connect it. Okay, after connecting it. We have very many ways. Uh, this is a shorter cable. Let me use a long cable. So that we don't have issues with internet. for easy access then we, have, we are going to power this microtech since it's the one which is acting like a gateway for this service uh, to, to limit users and all the stuff so let's power it it's using 12 volts if you're using DC it should be 8 up to 30 DC volts without when you exceed those volts that means you can pro it. Then you have to first connect that is microtech so that it can do what you want in your hotspot business. If you don't know how to configure this microtech, you can check in the bio. You can check there and get our number. We can help you on configuring the microtech and setting it all the firewalls and the gateways and all the stuff. Okay, I'm from powering it. Then for today, to power this Luigi. It's having uh, an issue of power. We have an issue of power. So if you don't provide it with enough power to power this energy, sometimes it misbehaves. Doesn't give good uh, good service whenever there is uh, power shortage and all that stuff. So it's better you keep a note of that before giving it power. On this, we are going to use 54, uh, 56 volts uh, adapter. Then, after that, the 54 uh, adapter, as you can see, we have this. Th these are the points where we are going to connect it from. Sometimes, it's uh, kind of, there is one for the LAN port and another one for the PoE port. That, this means, for the PoE, it's which you, where you will put, connect to the access point direct. Then, for the LAN, it's where you will Put the cable to enter internet direct into it. Let's power it. See, it's already powering on. Then you come and uh, on Luji. Let me show you in on Luji. On Luji, it's also indicated PoE LAN port. So if you're going to power it, you have to know all these that even Luji. You can uh, first allocate the point where to get to put the internet. If you check this, this small one, it's for the LAN port. If you want to pick internet from this, you can use this shorter one. But if you want to put internet directly, you have to use this. Even for the power in Luji, this is for the reset button and another one, it's a DC. This is for the DC. It's even indicated. DC of 12 volts. Okay, so now let's go on and uh, put internet and power at the same time from the power adapter. We are going to use this. You see, it has started to power. This means it's receiving power and it's stable using power adapter. So after that, now we are going to put internet. 
we are going to put internet into the MicroTIG firstly since the main issue of this video is to show you how to connect MicroTIG direct from the MicroTIG internet to uh, Luigi receives internet from the MicroTIG to the Luigi and gives it to other people surroundings for the hotspot since this is an AP is an access point which can extend internet to larger coverage then we put power into the microtech through port 1 after configuring it most of the times we use port 1 as the uh, the port for isp then you get another punch code this is another punch code which we are going to use provide internet from the microtech to the lodge the luji mm. now you first put the cable since this is the one which is a poe port as you can see it's also indicated data plus power here it receives data that means it will send power and data to the access point direct so let's put in when you put in even a, a data cable into this adapter this luji will detect like there is data entering into it so far here it's sending internet wi-fi and the system is stable but it's not sending internet the moment you put in this cable here it will also indicate that it's now receiving power so there you're, you're good to go we have pressed now we put it in into the micro tick even on the micro tick whenever there is another port it, it shows that light that there is something which has been pressed into that we have put it into port 3 on the micro tick here it's the port one for the internet service provider this for the logic as we have connected it to the power adapter you see even the LAN port on the logic it's now breaking it's always breaking yellow then it, the third one this the fourth one breaks if you put a cable from this point and transport internet to another AP. It's when it will detect that you picked power you picked internet from this AP. Only internet doesn't provide power from it. Then this is a concrete setup for you guys those who have been asking about how to connect these equipment picking internet from the micro tick to the adapter from the internet service provider that's done then we have another way we have two ways how we could power the logi and all the stuff and again get internet very well so so now we are not going to use this power adapter let's unplug for the power adapter and sh i'll show you another complete video on how we could set all those stuff This is the adapter we, we are not going to use it these are the punch codes which we need one from the micro tick for the port 3 as we have used and another one to power now we have this switch you have to make sure you have a poe switch this is a poe switch and uh, these ports these are not basically good for powering a logi access point if you, the moment you have a POE switch, that means these four ports, they can power Luigi very well. Whether you have four Luigi access points, you can power them very well to that access point. But not concerning these, that means here you can just pick internet. But these four, they can even you can even put uh, up to 100 Mbps internet provider if it's providing you like uh, 100 Mbps or 200. But the maximum they want 100 Mbps to power this switch then the switch will power the access point so this is the one which we are going to use for now we are going to power it firstly uh, as you, sometimes you have to first read the power which you're going to use and the adapter and all the stuff not to bring issues into the stuff this they are saying up to like 100 up to 240 mb uh, volts so those that power you power the switch 
see it's showing receiving power after that then we provide it with internet we are going to put internet into port one here it's the micro tick still will give it a gateway it's the one which will be limiting users making vouchers and all the stuff to that access point so we put a cable from the micro tick to the switch now internet is already in the switch not already distributed to the micro to the access point then we get another punch code to provide power into the LAN port POE port as well as I told you before then after that we put any port in these four ports these four ports where you can put to power this access point as you can see it has started to break to show it's receiving power already right now then we wait for it when it stabilizes since it's getting power this always uses uh, 52 and uh, 52 volts but this is, is consuming the power which is uh, between 100 up to 200 240 volts that means it can distribute that power to this access point and the access point gets power so if you get like a 50 if you get like a 50 uh, this takes in uh, 100 volts to maximum 240 volts so this means if this is getting 50 volts this means already it has four ports which is uh, recommended four ports which are recommended for access points that means if you get 50 volts times four ports you will go beyond this you you're still in a range of uh, this volts that means you can power four access points from this switch so if you have this switch a poe switch you can power four more access points of this type Okay, guys, so that's how you see it has stabilized. It is, it's giving Wi Fi to the people since it's an extender and as well it's receiving internet and giving data very well. As you see, this is a LAN port, yet we have used only one to power it and provide it with internet, though it, it will it detects even this LAN port. Okay, guys, that's it for today. If you have any issue and you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel for more content if you'd like to be helped out in this hotspot business. Thank you.